fellow screwdrivers. In this video, I'll show you how to make a ball, a ball and cricket bat storage unit. This ensures that your balls and cricket bats are stored neatly and are easily accessible. The best thing about this is you can easily get the balls at the bottom out of the hockey straps. Start by cutting your timber. Here are the dimensions that I used. Then we marked five spots on the base of the of two of the wall pieces and drilled through them. So just write down. After that, we applied some wood glue along the holes and stuck the side panel on the base as shown. When I turn it up, come and, come and stick it in the centre one. Okay. Do the centre one just to hold it. Just right? We added a screw in the middle to support the wall while we were screwing in the other screws. Then we got the two 42 by 42 millimeter pieces of wood and drilled a few holes in them for the Oki straps to pass through. and use the two holes as a template to drill through the base. Drill two holes at each top corner of the ball holder as shown. and secure the 42 by 42 millimeter beams in place. This is what we have so far. We had to add this temporary support to support the structure. Now in the top two corners of the third wall board, cut out a 42 by 42 millimeter square for the beams.
We have added a support for the third wall and we have nailed it down. Then I simply added a few screws in the bottom. My camera was running out of battery, so I just screwed some wheels on without filming. So here they are. Two of them have brakes. Okay, so now I've um, cut six of these um, pieces of wood so then um, they can fit inside um, this little gap here, three on each side. So then the cricket bats, cricket bats can go down in the middle there without falling out the side. So now I'm gonna screw um, these pieces of wood on. We added one screw in the middle and then added two nails beside the screws to stop the wood from rotating. Then we added the others. This is what we have so far. Now cut off the hooks of the Oki straps and feed both ends through the holes in the base of the beams. Tie a knot to secure them in tightly. With that, your ball and cricket bat holder is complete. Now you don't have to put a cricket bat holder in, but I like it. You could also paint it or add a little basket on the side for smaller balls. Have fun and thanks for watching.